Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com and this is your weekly tarot card reading. For this week's reading, I'm going to be using the Spacious Tarot. And I'm really curious to see what cards come up for us this week. There's a lot of pandemonium and panic over coronavirus right now. And so I'm curious to see what, what kinds of little nuggets of wisdom and, and guidance the cards have for us. All right. And I have to warn you, my cats were very active when I was getting set up to do this video, so I'm hoping they won't <laughs> crash the reading. Okay, so the first card is for Tuesday and Wednesday of the upcoming week. And here we have the Elder of Pentacles. So the Elder is also known as the King of Pentacles. And the Elder or the King of Pentacles is one of the most stable, grounded figures in the tarot deck. So this card is all about grounding and confidence. And I see this as a message of, you know, calming down, you know, like <laughs> find your roots, get grounded here. And I think this is always good advice really at any time in our lives, but especially if we feel like we're really anxious or worried about something or when our usual routine gets disrupted, disrupted. it's always important to ground our energy and do what we can to create a sense of stability. This isn't the same necessarily as security, even though we kind of associate stability and security, but this is about grounding to the earth, to the planet, to reality, to yourself. And sometimes things will be unstable, but the more grounded you are, the better you will be able to weather those periods of chaos and instability. So the advice I'm getting here, I'm getting a couple of things. Um, number one is to connect with nature. That Nature has a very grounding force on us, has a grounding effect. So, and, and this might look different for different people, depending on where you live, if you're in a city or if you're in the country. You know, if you live somewhere where you have access to parks or if you have a yard where you can go outside and just be out there with the grass and the trees and the plants and stuff like that, um, you know, make an extra effort this week to do that and to do it with the intention of having the experience connect you to the earth and to help you find a sense of calm and groundedness. Um, this may even look like, you know, if you, if you can't get out in nature, this might be, you know, connecting with your house plants. <laughs> this is something I like to do from time to time. And actually I haven't done this in a long time. Um, but sometimes when I'm watering my house plants, I'll spend some time just holding each plant and just connecting to the spirit of that plant and, and kind of communing with that plant. If you do this, you'll notice that each plant has a different personality. It has a different vibe or energy. And if you sit long enough with each plant, that each plant has like a message or a, um, a I'm thinking of another word. Yeah, a message or a, a, a something that's important to it. And this can be a really good grounding practice, especially if you're quarantined or if you're spending more time at home and you're looking for things to do. This is one thing that can help pass the time. Okay, so let's look at the middle of the week. So Wednesday and Thursday. Here we have the lovers. So we have a major arcana card. Okay, now just give me a minute here. I'm going to look at this card. Uh, this is about opposing energies. Energies that sometimes may be seen to be in opposition, but this is about bringing those two things together and melding them. And this also reminds me of DNA kind of the, the shape of this. Um, what does it mean for us though? So let me talk a little bit about the lovers. I see the lovers as representing 
sort of the yin and the yang energies that are in the world. So the darkness, the light, um, and we all have these energies within ourselves. And so the lovers, it's often associated with relationship and how you relate to another person, but how you relate to others is always a, a reflection of how you relate to yourself and the relationship that you have to yourself. And within each of us, we have, you know, uh, those yin and yang, or you could call them masculine, feminine characteristics. And the lovers is about cultivating a healthy connection with both of those aspects and finding that balance within us. I'm kind of stumped on this card as to, to what the guidance is. Um, let's move on to the next card and we'll come up. We'll come back to this card. So the next card is for the weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And here we have Elder of Swords. So we have another king. So this is interesting. We have this king-like energy coming through. And King of Swords or Elder of Swords is more serious than the Elder of Pentacles. He has more of a analytical, mental focus. And he, I always think of this king as being kind of kind of serious. He's kind of a downer sometimes, but he has a sharp wit <laughs> and he's very intelligent. All right. Um, so the message of this card is really about cultivating a clear mind. While the first King card, the elder of pentacles was about cultivating a sense of groundedness and a sense of stability. The king or elder of swords is about cultivating a clear, sharp mind. And I think this is so important, especially now, because I think if you turn on the news, it's so easy to get sucked up in that whirlwind of fear and that whirlwind of panic. And regardless of whether you should be panicked or you shouldn't be panicked, panic doesn't really ever help you. Fear also doesn't really help you. You can be cautious, you can take action to protect yourself, to be prepared. That's not the same as being ramped up with fear. When you're ramped up with fear, you're actually ineffective and you are not in your power. And so the King of Swords is reminding you to get back into your power and you can start with your mind. You can start by cultivating a clear mind. So what does that look like? Well, how can you cultivate a clear mind this week? So I'll give you some suggestions. So one thing to do is meditation. Focusing on your breath, focusing on the present moment and what is true for you right now in this moment and focusing on your breathing, focusing on the present moment, and really getting present in your mind and your body. The other suggestion that I get from this card is about questioning any, um, any like fearful thoughts that you have, thoughts that bring you a sense of, well, bring you a sense of fear, thoughts that make you feel frightened and unsafe, really question those thoughts and and explore them. What are the greater themes? What's the overall message? And don't always believe your thoughts. You know, ha you can laugh at your thoughts. You can bring a sense of humor into this as well. And I feel like there's something else with this card. Um, it's asking you to be smart at the end of the week or really throughout the week. It's asking you to engage your rational mind. It's asking you to be calm, to stay in your power, and to not get wrapped up or caught up in the, the mass hysteria that's going on right now. Okay, so let's go back to the lovers because I promised you that I would go back to the lovers to see what this card means. And I'm gonna ask you for some help on this card too. When you look at these three cards together, you know, this reading is flanked by these two kind of masculine energy uh, court cards. 
which both represent, if you notice, there's a mountain pointing up here, there's a sword pointing up. Both of these represent kind of being strong, stable, standing on two feet, um, being, you know, um, calm, confident, grounded. And then we have the lovers in the middle, and the lovers is about kind of coming together, merging those different qualities within ourselves. And beyond that, I'm not sure what the lovers is trying to tell us. So if you want to chime in, if you want to share what your insights are in the comments below, I would I would welcome that as always. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching this reading. I hope you found it helpful. And um, if you want to learn more about tarot, you can check out my, that racket in the background is my cat climbing my Venetian blinds. <laughs> if you want to learn more about tarot, you can check out my website, dailytarotgirl.com. And I do these videos every week. So if you enjoyed it, think of subscribing and leaving a comment. And thanks again for watching. And I hope you have a good week.